Hi everyone and welcome! Have you made mashed potatoes colorful by adding spinach and carrots? Try these ones and let me know what else we could add to mashed potatoes to make them tasty and colorful. Let's get our ingredients ready and start by cooking potatoes and carrots. I will cut peeled and washed potatoes into small pieces and put them in a pot for boiling. The size does not matter. The smaller they are, the quicker they will cook. And we will mash them afterwards anyway. Let's add the garlic cloves in the pot with the potatoes and put the pot on the stove. Pour water in the pot to cover the potatoes. Add about half a teaspoon of salt and cook on medium heat till potatoes are soft. Let's also cut peeled and washed carrots and put them in another pot for boiling. I cook the carrots separately as they take longer to cook than potatoes and we don't need to mix them with all the potatoes. I will also add water to the carrots, covering them with water. Add about a third of a teaspoon of salt and leave the carrots to cook on medium heat as well. While waiting for potatoes and carrots to cook, let's defrost the spinach. We need to get the spinach as dry as possible, therefore I will put it in a microwave for a few minutes and stir after every minute or so that the spinach dries. You can also cook it in a small pan on the stove. I will check the potatoes now. The potatoes are very soft, ready. Let's drain them. Put in a big bowl and mash them with a fork. You can also use a potato masher or ricer if you have one, but don't blend them, as the potatoes will become gummy and not hold the shape. While mashing the potatoes, I will add the butter. The butter will melt in the warm potatoes and help me to get them creamy. Now let's add and mix in the spices. Salt, black pepper, nutmeg and sweet paprika powder. And the cooking cream. I try not to overwork the potatoes, but at the same time check and make sure I'm not leaving any lumps. Let's also add and gently mix in the grated hard cheese. And try the potatoes to see we need to add more salt or spices. Potatoes taste good. Let's leave them aside for now and check the carrots. The carrots are also soft. Let's drain them and put in another bowl. And let's also mash the carrots. I will use a fork. You can also blend them. That way carrot pieces will not be visible. Just don't add any liquid. I am adding a little bit of the potato mash to the carrots to help me get them smoother. And the carrots are ready too. Let's separate now the egg yolks from egg whites. Add the egg yolks in the bowl to the potato mash and put the egg whites into a separate bowl. And mix the egg yolks with the potato mash. Now we need to divide the potato mash in somewhat equal parts and add one part to the spinach and another to the carrots. I will add a little less to the carrots as I already added some. Let's gently mix the spinach with the potato mash. And the carrot. Let's add a pinch of salt to the egg whites and beat them till they are stiff.
Now we need to somewhat divide the egg white in three parts and add in each of the bowls to the three different potato mashes and gently mix in. The potato mashes are ready. Let's set the oven to heat to 180 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And prepare sheets of baking paper. I have cut them the size of the baking tray and will grease with a bit of cooking oil. The potato mash trees nicely separate from the parchment paper when they have cooled a little and the bottoms also stay soft. To get the shape we are aiming for, I will use a piping bag. Fill it with the pure potato mash and shape the potato trees. I don't make them very big so that one person can have several of them as a side dish. With this amount of potato mash, I make 30 potato mash trees. I don't change the piping bags for the different colors. I just add the next one on top as I like the color mix I get. The tray is full. Let's put them bake for about 12 to 15 minutes till they look set and the peaks have very slightly browned. If you want, you can sprinkle them with a bit of hard shredded cheese. Let them cool for a few minutes on the baking tray before moving and enjoying. The potato mash trees are creamy and soft just like potato mash. The ones with carrots taste lightly as carrots. The ones with spinach have quite strong spinach flavor. Whatever we don't eat after they are made, I store in a closed container in a fridge and warm up in a frying pan with a lid on on medium-low heat. Thank you for joining me today and see you next week. Bye!